We are heading into Grey Cup weekend on a high note with the music of Jamie Fine this morning. We met in December. I knew it by June. I'd want this forever. I'll never surrender. It's got to be you. That is her smash hit, If Anything's Left. That's a live version of it. Jamie's going to be performing at the Grey Cup on Sunday. She's joining us in studio this morning. We always love when you're here. You bring so much love and energy. Thanks for coming we in this morning. We have so much fun. We really do. I never really want to leave, which is dark. <laughs> it's dark for you guys. You got to leave because you got to get to Hamilton. Let's talk about this weekend. Let's talk about the Grey Cup. You're going to be performing. Uh, tell us a little bit more when and what you're performing. Um, honestly, the only thing that matters is there's going to be pyro. And okay. it really doesn't matter what I'm singing. There's pyro, so who cares? Um, no, we're doing we're doing if anything's left in my my latest release. There you go. And we just love stages like this because they're so fun, and our band loves playing together. So we're excited. Uh, well, you were just in South Africa. You found out your song if anything's left went platinum. Yeah. Jamie, come on, congratulations! What was that moment like? It was it was very emotional. I think that's something a lot of Canadian artists specifically work towards, right? Yes. Is kind of getting uh, you know having accolades in Canada and outside of it. And uh, with if anything's left. It beautifully blew up, blew up, excuse me, in, in South Africa, and I'm really proud that my first international award was was from there. It was it was emotional. Is this something that you've dreamed about? I mean, we've talked to you since the really the beginnings of yeah. your career. Yeah, of course. It's it's something that you kind of. For me, I'm a big like goal. I'm a goal goal oriented person. Like okay. I, I want to work towards short term goals, and I ultimately want to reach those long term goals. And I think the short term goals help us get there. Yeah. And of course, this was like a long term goal. I just didn't realize it was going to happen when it did. And so I think mentally, I just wasn't prepared. And then all of a sudden, we get there, and uh, it was the most like overwhelming thing in the world. But it felt meant to be. And that's all that I care about, because that, that's it shows me that I'm on the right path. You know what I mean? Well, you won platinum for this song, and there's a few versions of it. You have, like most people hear it on the radio, is the yes. version that they've heard, but you've got this amazing, this, strings version of it. How did that arrangement change the vibe of the song, and, and was this something that you pitched, or did someone come to you with this? I think that it was, it was a decision that the label and I kind of made. We, we, we knew that If Anything's Left was so big, and one of the things that we loved is that it made people fall in love with love again and that's what I want to do with my music right is make people feel as emotional as they can because I'm annoying uh, but like <laughs> they they really that's how they grasp it and so many people said oh, I, I want this at my wedding I want this to be my first dance so we were like oh we'll give you a first dance and so we made this version and it just worked out so well because people I got all these videos of these people having like their father daughter dances to it I know so emotional Ugh. I love that it. you love it. Listen, and you are loving love right now. This yeah. is coming through in your music, which makes all of us very happy. Can I also say I'd really enjoy, I enjoy this here in the studio with you, but I'd really like to travel with you because, you know, okay. I sit next to people who like clip their toenails at the airport <laughs> or decide to dry their insoles out on the air conditioning. <laughs> but you gave you new music. Can I just play for everybody what of I'm talking about? Of course you can. Okay, I wrote this song for my mom and dad. I'm at the airport right now waiting for my flight, but this is what it sounds like. you dumb who made you think you weren't enough and filled your soul with doubt and that I needed you around but what you needed was some space to figure yourself out would you go back and do it the same day regret make you want to change Misunderstood, underappreciated But did you know I love this heart because of you? And I've been learning it's a journey as I'm walking in your shoes I'll pass along all of your lessons Took some time but I got your message Big breath in for you. Does it make you still feel emotional when you it, watch this back? It does, and I love it, and I love that music can do that. And this song is really for me and, and my family, and, and the reaction has been really beautiful online. So We don't often tell our parents these things. We think them, we tell other of people, course. but we don't often tell them. Of what was course. their reaction? Oh, my God, it was, it was beautiful. And, and uh, you know, I texted, I texted them, and I said, I, I wrote this song about you guys, Oof. and I want, I want you to hear it, and I want you to genuinely tell me how you feel. 
And, you know, my mom sent me this beautiful, beautiful message. And it's, it's just so important for our family. And my dad, I mean, he's so funny. He's just hilarious. And he's, he sent this beautiful message being like, what a beautiful, thank you so much, Jamie. And he said, you're absent father. Because <laughs> oh, I say that, I need you. No. But he joked about it. And it was just, that's what I love about my family is that we can talk about things. And mm -hmm. we worked really hard to get to where we are. And I want to share that with the world. And I want to write this love letter for them to sh show them I'm proud to be their daughter. You, you know? know what? You were brave enough to put that into words. Not a lot of people will be, but maybe this song will help them to do that. I hope people can heal from it. Uh one last question about Grey Cup. Yeah. Listen, you were at one point wanted to do culinary school. You had a catering business. So if you were throwing a Grey Cup party and you were to invite us here at your morning, what would you make for us? Oh my God, what you're saying is you want me to throw a Grey Cup party? You that want is, me to cook I've for seen you? your house on Instagram. I'd just, like to come over. Just ask me. Just ask me. Okay. I'll do it for you. Um, you know what? I'm a big canapé person when I owned a catering company. I love like the like French cooking canapés that are like okay. beautiful and plated. So like some seared salmon on a crostini. I got you. What else do you want in life? It's a very fancy Grey Cup food. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jamie Fine, congratulations. Always great to have you and have a great time this weekend. Thank you so much. And thanks for coming in here. Next Always. time, come back and sing. Always. Got you. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.